Ladies and gentlemen, welcome one and all to Doom 2016. Now, I have already recorded this, but uh, I'm going to just pretend that was a test recording. And not that I totally recorded like five minutes of like what I assen I'm essentially calling black space, where um, which is essentially dead air for some unknown reason and then when i tried to trim the video it uh forced it into 30 fps so it was basically unwatchable oh well this is a game you really need to experience at 60 fps as far as i'm concerned i mean it's not too bad at 30 but i mean i imagine it plays at 60 on consoles but i don't know uh 30 at console sorry whatever anyway i have played doom 1 with mods i have played doom 2 with mods. I have played Doom th uh, Final Doom... half of it. I've played half of Final Doom with mods. So I thought this would be the next sort of logical step because I was not the greatest fan of Doom 3 and I am not really that big a fan of Doom uh, the actual final Doom map that I played, so I'm not going to bother with a final Doom bit that I haven't. I can't remember which one I played, but the one that, that wasn't that. So, yeah, this is the next logical step, especially with one coming out soon. I think it's like the beginning of next year so far. I'm not quite sure. Um, I can't. Rem I really can't remember when they said that was going to come out. Everything is on Ultra, by the way. Except for the graphics API, which I'd like to put it on Vulkan, but for some reason, this doesn't pick up Vulkan OBS. It probably does, I probably just need to update or something, but... I thought I'm already up to, up to date. 2202, eh, I don't know. Uh, and anthropic filtering is down to 8 rather than 16, because that's what it thinks that's what it thinks Ultra means for some reason. And I've turned off both depth of field and motion blur because they make me violently ill not literally violently ill but whatever field view is up to 130 so vertical synths off so yeah let's uh let's get going shall we and i have actually changed my volume settings over from the last video so this may go horribly wrong however we're going to start a new campaign. We're not going to play on Too Young to Die. We're not going to play on Hurt Me Plenty. We're going to play on Ultraviolence. For players who want a challenge, this will test your awareness and reflexes with your path to success determined by choosing the right tool for the job. There are fewer tutorials. Indeed. Technically, Ultraviolence is the hardest difficulty there is before you've completed the game once i believe nightmare is locked between uh is locked behind completing the campaign once on any of these three difficulties if i remember correctly i might be wrong um but i am not playing on nightmare because i will not get through it it is for the expert player well i'm a pretty terrible player so we're so ultra violence is going to be more of a challenge for me. Thank you very much. Uh, mission one, the UAC. So you walk eternally through the shadow realms, standing against evil where all others falter. May your thirst for retribution never quench. May the blood on your sword never run dry. And may we never need you again. Korax entry is seven, 17. I love that opening text. Security alert! Yes, the place is on fire! And, um, yes. There's a very angry zombie. Correction, there was a very angry zombie. It's just a random arm there. 
randomly. Oh, let's let's not get hit by the first enemies of the game. <laughs> that would be a good start. Ah, oh, dear. Right. I'm guessing that that is who the arm belonged to. Well, one of these individuals. Yes. Oh well. Uh, right, now that I've utterly embarrassed myself by getting hit by the first enemy of the game, let's move on. We have to contain this. And you did a great job of that, because I'm now running around and sucking, apparently. Give me the armor! And a Doomslayer's mark on his helmet there. And the pistol has some random kanji on it. I don't know what it actually says. I don't know if you saw it earlier when we were picking it up. At least I think it's kanji. I could be wrong. Hmm, satellite dish array offline. Hmm. It's almost like there's a massive demonic incursion or something. Welcome. I'm Dr. Samuel Hayden. I'm the head of this facility. I think we can work together and resolve this problem in a way that benefits us both. Shut up! Is basically what Doom Guy is saying there. Doom Guy needs no plot, or Doom Marine needs no plot. Doom Marine just wants to kill things. That's basically his job. Hello. Yeah, these are easy enough to kill. These possessed. As long as you don't like start admiring the scenery and then let let them get a hit in. Yeah, I'm already at 90 health because I took 15 damage from that possessed earlier. All right now, look there. Right. So, Doom Guy pulled this guy out, but you could see the spine, and now he's just suddenly teleported back under the door. That, that, I mean, I know it's a demonic invasion and all sorts of weird wibbly stuff's going on, but Jesus. Hello, Mr. Imp. Would you like to die? Thank you. Right. Ah, yes, we do have a codex. Codex is just basically, yeah, it's like loads of information. Yeah, I don't know. It's all like there's a lot of lore behind this, but at the same time, you don't really read it for the, uh, you don't really play this game for the lore. Yeah, there we go. There's some sort of symbols on the side. I wonder if it says in here what that actually says. It's probably just like, like something along those lot sort of lines, but nah, I don't know. Uh, we're gonna upgrade all our stuff from here as well, though we don't have any points yet. Same with our suit. We'll get to that later. But for now, let's just uh, deal with the locals. And prepare for the inevitable ambush, which is inevitably going to happen because I played this game five or six times, so I know what's coming. Unlike Fear, where I knew some of the stuff that was coming, with this I know everything that's coming, so, well, not everything. I'm still going to get surprised occasionally, but. Smack. I want to see if I can do my favorite glory kill. There is one specific glory kill that I really like doing. To the point that I've actually included one of the characters in my stories doing it at one point. That. I love that move. I don't know why. Ow! Something hit me. Well, it would be a fireball, probably. Hey! Nope. 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 Ow. Nope. Hey! Oh! There's a lot of fireballs coming in my direction. Oh! Luckily, I seem to be dodging most of them. Ow, he says, as he gets hit. Ah, damn it, I missed. 
Right. You can toddle off. Is that it? Is that all of them? That's all of them. Yay. Good. Uh, lockdown disengaged. Yay. We can leave. Sadly, we can't actually... Uh, for we can't actually fill up all our armor. I thought there was an armor piece in here, but I might be mistaken. That like, could be on maybe like the, the earlier difficulties. We cannot be allowed I don't know. Ruining in progress. Let's go. Upstairs. I'm willing to take full responsibility for the horrible events of the last 24 hours, but you must understand our interest in their world was purely for the betterment of mankind. Everything has clearly gotten out of hand now, yes. But it was worth the risk. I assure you. See, now that is telling a story without words like or expressing a character more of in uh, no words because do Mr. Hayden just says oh yes this is all for the betterment of mankind and Doom guy just looks down and says like he doesn't even say anything he's just just like yeah I don't think this is betterment sir can you actually uh no he's a static object can't make him exploding to gore or anything. And no fall damage, something I very much appreciate. Unless, of course, you fall in a bottomless pit, then you just explode. Somehow. I don't know. Don't know how that works. As like I noticed when I was recording uh, the first time, yeah, those imps. There's a lot of imps running along in the background. I doubt you'll be able to attack them. No, they're all just sort of in the background. But, uh, yeah, I've, no, I've never actually noticed that before. I only noticed it when I was doing the um, previous attempt at this. So, you know. Goodbye. <laughs> right. Now, can I do this bit this time without getting mauled? Because I did the last time I did this. It, it wasn't even the fact that I, you know, just... I didn't die as such, I got down to like, was it like 13 health I think, and um, yeah it's not even the fact that I uh, suck at the game, which probably is a bit of a, uh, well it's true, but I don't know, I just sort of got sideswiped by about 14 projectiles at once, and walked into one of the soldiers. That might not have helped. Ah, oh, soldier. Yep. I'm not letting you do that to me again. So he used his special attack when I was right next to him, and I was like, well, that's all my health gone. Apparently he just went through me. Uh, yep. No. 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 Please die. Thank you. And Doom Guy just teleports around because why not? Right. <laughs> to you two. Shut up. Let's get out of that just in case I need to shoot one. We done? We done. Good. They are very annoying, the amount of racket they make. I think we're pretty much done here. Find a blue access key. That's easy enough. I know exactly where I'm going. We're nicking it off this guy. Just a no arms McGee over here. No, I am not making that joke. I mean, I. I make some pretty terrible jokes, but that, that one's just too obvious. You know exactly what I'm on about. Right. Grenades! Expect me to use a lot of grenades incorrectly, because normally I would use the melee key as the middle mouse button, right? So in games like Call of Duty, Battlefield, which actually has a selectable knife, but whatever. We're just going to pretend that I didn't say that and move on. Um... Just any any sort of game that has a melee option. Borderlands, there we go. There's another one. Um, 
and grenade will be G. But I've not actually reassigned my keys, so I'm going to keep, uh, shall we say, doing it slightly incorrectly. Where's the other one? There you are. Okay. Auto map, yes. We now have a map. Self explanatory, really. And it has unlocked a new upgrade slot that we can uh, start going into. And our first bread token, which could be used for upgrades, although you probably already knew that. We're going straight into area scanning, because I do not know where all the secrets are. I'm not going to be able to 100% this, probably. I mean, if I do miss some, then I'll probably go back off camera. Uh, I swear there's like an imp around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Ping. Ah, mine charged before yours did. That was, that was actually quite dangerous. I probably shouldn't have done that, but eh, details. Alright. Uh, I was kind of hoping to do that glory kill before I got hit, but no matter. Eh, it's only 36 armor. I'd like more, but eh, details. I just saw one spawn behind me, yep. Yeah. I'm quite surprised, actually. I thought it would attract me. Yeah. Right. Can we move this before... Yes. I hear a possessed somewhere, but I don't quite know where he is. He sounds like he's up there. Let's go have a look. Up oh, there, there they are. Up! Oh, you see what I mean? Splats. Doom guy must be like ridiculously strong. I mean, or Doom Marine or whatever. Whatever. Doom Slayer. Who cares? Um, because at the end of the day, I, I mean, I'm going to check something in the codex, right? He's able to pop people's heads, arms, well, rip off arms, whatever. Things like that. Um, quite easily, to say the least. And no, I know he's not like an ordinary human, but it doesn't actually say anything about the predator suit. Does it have some sort of like doesn't actually specify if it's got any strength enhancing abilities. I mean, I think, I imagine it's got to. I mean, I know, like I said, I know the Doom Slayer is not exactly an ordinary human being, but it just seems really, he seems ridiculously strong to be able to pop the heads of demons like a balloon or something. I don't know. And in case you're wondering, or oh, didn't know already, yes. All the uh, items in here are the exact same sprites. Except for the med kits I've seen, all the stim packs. They are actually, they do not have the cross on them. I'm guessing the Red Cross got a bit upset with uh, their symbol being used for health constantly. I don't know. Although the uh, health thing at the bottom of the screen, that's, that's a cross. It's blue, but it's a cross. So they could have changed it to a blue cross on the stim packs, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Right. I did, yeah, I did select explosive shot, good. Explosive shot just basically gives us an extra grenade. It's like the best, best upgrade for the shotgun as far as, ah, oh, I'm concerned. Uh, I keep forgetting there's that. I'm so used to using it with like fully upgraded that I keep forgetting there's a um, like a almost like a load time 
in the like in the future, like the first upgrade I'm going to get is probably going to be the uh, upgrade to remove that. In fact, I can get it now. Instant load. There we go. So now we can fire it as soon as we hold down the or press down the right mouse button. Okay. What shenanigans we got going on over here then? Two dead imps. Sounds good to me. Boom. I do like this game. That was a waste of a grenade. Nah. Details. The thing is, until we get, like, the chainsaw and a massive arsenal of weapons, you need to be really careful with your ammo on this first mission. Yeah. Toodles, sucker! <laughs> right. Second secret! If I'd have looked on the auto map, then it would have told me that was there before I'd actually found it. Though I don't need that. I know I I know where it is. Can you get up here? No, you can't. No oh, hey. Ow! Well oh, fine, I'll stop messing around and do it normally. I'll do this like any normal Doomslayer would. With excessive amounts of violence. Because, of course, that's the way he does things. Right. I still hear another one. Hello. Ah. You suck. Right. I hear a lot of explosions. Most of them apparently caused by me this time. Ow. I know that was a bit of a delayed reaction, but uh, still how anyway. Oh, come on. I didn't hurt him. I didn't hurt him in the slightest. Right. Punch him a bit. Detonate him. Yep, none of that. No jumping around for you, sir. Up. Uh. Can you die? Thank you. It's kind of your job to just... Your job as a mook is to just die. Right. Uh. Where is he? There he is. Ah! Come back here! Where'd he go? There he is. Right, that should be it. Yeah, that's it. Good. Now, if I remember correctly, there is a shield over here. Yes, there is. And is there one over here as well? There is more stuff over here. Excellent. I'm now maxed out on everything. Except video time, but whatever. And I have got all the secrets, I have got all the secrets, and I've got two upgrade points. You might want to reset that counter there, sir. I'd say this was a bit of a bit of an accident. Well, not really an accident, but you you get the point. Oh dear. I'm so tired. I don't know why I'm so tired of late. No, oh, I've probably said that before. <coughs> oh dear. God. <sighs> right, resource operations. Broken free from your prison. Your your prison. Your prison. Piddle against the evil. The cycle begins anew. To discover the cause of the demonic invasion, first locate and, a sl and align the communication satellite in the resource operations facility. That is exactly what we're going to do. So, uh, mission two, know your enemy. I know who my enemy is. They're demons and zombies, but mostly demons. Hello, I am Vega. 
the sentient intelligence assigned to Mars. After running diagnostics on the Praetor suit, it appears that I can activate optional challenges that when completed will assist in upgrading your arsenal at an accelerated pace. I have added a tracking component to your dossier. Right, thank you for that, Vega. Uh, sadly, you cannot actually make all the uh, pre-placed corpses explode. I was, was kind of hoping you could, but no. No, no you can't. Oh yeah, so I should probably check the challenges, shouldn't I? Right, we now get challenges. We can uh, complete challenges for upgrade points. Which is quite, uh, quite useful. Um, that one's easy. It counts the secondary fire as a um, one trigger ball, so just basically fire a grenade or two possessed and you got that one. Righteous Spice of Death, well that's relatively simple. Quiet Explorer, find three secrets. I know where all the secrets are, so let's just round up to possessed. There's an imp over there, we're going to ignore him. Yep. Alright, there we go. I got three, so I one-upped it slightly. I did also take a hit though, which is slightly irks. Missed! You're going to the broadside of a battleship. Then again, nor could I, so, you know. I am aware that the entrances are not operational, thank you. I kind of figure that out. One. And go around the back of him. There we go. That's the third one. And jump up slightly, and that will do that one. That's four. And we'll blow you up, and there we go. Right. Now, I know this has a little bit of a, uh, not exactly a story thing, but a lore thing here, so I'm going to uh, end the video now, rather than um, make you sort of, you know, um, well, go overrun, basically. It's more make me overrun, whatever. You get the point. So... Yes, thank you very much for watching this first episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. And until next time, I have been Goldaris. Goodbye.